option approval levels. What are they? What's level zero, one, two, three, four, five? Which one should you get approved for as a beginner trader, as a more experienced trader? I'm going to be breaking down all the things, option trading levels, approvals right now in this video. So let's dive into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. You're watching The Brown Report. I'm stock market coach and option trader, Jason Brown. And this is the channel where we talk about all things investing, money mindset, and personal finance. I wanna walk you through each level of option trading and approval so that you can understand what you wanna be aiming for to get approved for and the types of strategies that you will be able to do or not do based on your level of approval. So on the screen here that I have up is a screenshot from Charles Schwab. Now, typically all of the option approval levels are the same across the board per company. So this should be pretty universal no matter what brokerage company you're looking at. So level zero, if you look at it here, level zero is being approved to place covered calls, covered puts, buy rights, unwinds, and covered rollouts. When you look at it, what it's really telling you is that it wants you to be covered or have the money up front for whatever option strategy that you do. So for example, a covered call just means you already own the stock and you can sell calls against it. That way, if someone calls you out and says, hey, I want that stock, you owe me it at this price, you can just go into your account because you already have the stock. So you're covered. You're covered because you have it and you can just take that stock and give it to that person. Same thing with covered puts, um, buy rights. A buy right, for example, means you buy a stock and you write a call on it simultaneously, like at the same time. So it's like one order. You buy the stock, you write a call against it. So again, these are strategies that basically mean you already have the money or you already have the stock to deliver any event that the option um, calls you out or you get it put to you. You already have the money to buy the stock or you've already bought the stock and you can deliver it to that person. So these are the most basic level of being approved to do some type of options. Now, if we look at level two of options, or should I say level one, because they call that level zero. So when we look at level one, level one is being able to go long calls or long puts. Now this confuses most people. Going long just means you own something. So that means you bought some calls, so you are long some call options, or you bought some put options, you're long some puts. How this differs from level zero is that by buying the calls or buying the puts, you don't necessarily have to own any stock. You can just say, I just want a straight buy a call option, straight buy a put option, and you'd be allowed to do that. You can go long straddles, combinations, strangles, and also cash secured equity puts. What a cash secured put is, is let's say you sold a naked put or a put to someone else you would at least have to have enough money to buy the stock should the stock get put to you. So that's why they call it a cash secured put because technically you're not naked because you have the money to buy it, okay? So at level zero, it's gonna include, or level one is gonna include everything from level zero, but it's gonna allow you to do some things without physically actually owning stock, okay? It's gonna allow you to just trade options, pretty much directional options, whether that's you know bullish going up or directional bearish going down. Now, when you go to level two, which is gonna include everything from level zero and level one, obviously, as you keep going up the food chain here, as you go to level two, you're gonna to start to be able to do things like spreads, okay? So it says right here, you're gonna be able to do spreads, diagonal call spreads, diagonal put spreads, and ratio spreads, long side heavy. What this simply means is that you'll be able to start to do spreads. You'll start to be able to do what we call inside of our course at Power Trades University, advanced options. You'll be able to do maybe a bull call spread where you own a call and you sell a call against the call that you own and turn you into a bull call spread. You'll be able to do bear put spreads. You'll be able to do any type of combination of spreads where you're using two or more options. Again, for the most part at this level, 
when you're doing these type of spreads, you've already put out the cash or the money or the cost for that spread. So you can't lose more than what the spread costs. So the broker is okay with you doing this because you've already put up the money that you could potentially lose. So you're not having to come up with more money or do anything advanced, which leads me to level three, which is going to include everything from level zero, level one, level two. Level three is the level where you are able to do not only the advanced strategies, but you're able to do it naked or should I say on credit or on your reputation. I'm going to explain what that what I mean for that in a minute. But just look at level three. You get to do uncovered calls, uncovered puts, uncovered rollouts, short strategies, short or short straddles, I should say, short combinations, short strangles and uncovered ratio spreads. Notice everything in there is similar to what we've covered in level zero, one, and two. The biggest difference is that now they've put the word uncovered in front of everything, which just simply means you have a net worth or you have a reputation with that broker that they will allow you to place these certain type of advanced trades and not actually have the stock. And you may not even have to actually have the money in your account, but because of your reputation with them, because of your longstanding history, or because they know your net worth, they will allow you to do these trades uncovered because they know that if something goes wrong, meaning the trade doesn't go how you expected it to, and you have to come up with the money, they believe that you are good for it. Whether that means, again, your net worth means you can sell some stuff or you got cash somewhere else that you can put into your account when you get called up and so you can fulfill that obligations or your reputation with the company. Um, they know that you've done these type of short positions in the past. They know you have um, multiple hundreds of thousands, maybe a couple million in your trading account. And they know that you're basically good for it. And they know that you're sophisticated enough that you won't technically lose your entire account and you'll be able to close out a trade if it goes against you. Or if you're not able to close it out, again, your reputation, your bank account, your net worth says, I can cover it even if something goes truly wrong. All right. So most people won't be approved for level three. Most people just won't, especially um, if you're brand new. And even if you're experienced, sometimes it has nothing to do with being experienced. It also has a lot to do with your net worth and how much money you have or your reputation with the broker to be able to come in trading at level three. At bare minimum, everyone will get approved for level zero because it's the most safest position that you can be in where the broker will say, hey, you can't really do any harm because you already own something and you're going and just be selling stuff against what you already own. You what you want to strive for is at least level one and level two, because at level one is what we teach is how you can multiply and increase your account. If you have a small bank account by just buying straight call options versus buying the stock, if you believe it's going up or you would at least have the ability to buy put options if a stock is going against you or do some combination of owning some stock and buying call options or buying put options straight out directly. So level one is what everyone should strive for. And then level two, that is the place where you can start to do neutral trading strategies where you don't care if the stock is going up or going down, but you can start to get into straddles, strangles, butterflies, um, some spreads, some different advanced combinations that don't matter if the stock market is going up or down. But again, at level two, you might be required to put some more money up if the trade goes against you, which is why that's a higher level. So if you want to know how to get approved for these different levels, we have a video on the channel that I'll pop up right around here. There'll be a little card that you can watch where I talk about how to get approved for options trading. We did it with a specific broker, but it's pretty universal. Most brokers ask the same question. So you're going to want to follow the same format. And if you don't understand how options trading works 
at all. Well, we have a full video playlist that will also pop up right here on the channel. I hope this has been helpful in helping you understand and get approved for options trading and also understand what level you're approved for and what type of strategies that you can do. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and then turn on the bell notification if you want to get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching. I'm signing off saying you never go broke taking a profit.